Hi kids, this is teacher Alpha. Today's lesson will be a different one because I'm going to tell you a story. The story is about the first prize carrot from Tales from the Carrot Patch by Neil Conley, illustrated by Carolyn Bracken. Let's start! Summertime was a busy season for Grandfather Bunny. He was working hard in the carrot patch when Violet, her twin brother Blaze, and their little brother Nibbles came racing across the field. Grandfather, Violet cried, may we have a carrot seed? We're going to grow a giant carrot. Nibbles explained and win first prize at the forest fair. Blaze added. Grandfather gave them one of his best seeds and they hopped to an empty corner of the carrot patch. Blaze planted the seed in rich soil and patted it gently with his soft paw. Nibbles sprinkled the ground with fresh water that he brought from the puddle pond. Now the seed will need lots of sunlight to make it grow, Violet explained. Then the bunnies waited. After many weeks and plenty of bunny loving care, the carrot was ready to be pulled. As they dug to loosen it, the bunny's fur became covered with dirt, but they didn't mind. The carrot was gigantic. What a beauty, Violet said. Let's load it up. The three little bunnies dragged the carrot from the hole and lifted it onto the cart. Blaze of bounds with excitement. We will win first place for sure. On the path to the forest fair, they heard a strange sound. <laughs> Their neighbor, Mrs. Porcupine, was whipping. <laughs> What's wrong? Violet asked. A thunderstorm flooded our garden, <laughs> Mrs. Porcupine said. Now my babies are hungry. <laughs> Violet, Blaze, and Nibbles huddled together. Do your babies like carrots? The three bunnies asked and they offered their precious carrots to the porcupine family. Mrs. Porcupine quills twitch with joy. All the hungry porcupines, babies gathered around and nibbled the delicious carrot. While everyone was feasting, Mrs. Porcupine disappeared inside her tree. Shortly, she came back with three first prize ribbon she had just whipped up for the bunnies. Blaze proudly puffed up his chest and pointed to his ribbon. You see, he said, I knew our carrot would win a prize. We are winners. Truly, these three bunnies are winners for their good hearts. Children, did you like the story? The end. Thank you for listening, kids. I hope you have learned something. Happy learning. See you next time. The lesson of the story is be kind, be helpful, and be generous. Signing off, Teacher Alpha. Credits and thank you to Sire Amoral for lending me his book. Bye, kids.